My name is Paul Conroy. I'm an American citizen from Hastings, Michigan. I'm a civilian truck driver for Creston, Roland, and Thomas. I've been taken hostage somewhere near Iraq. I need one million dollars by nine o'clock tonight, Baghdad time, or I'll be left to die here in this coffin that I'm buried in. I'm told that if the money is paid, I, I'm told that if the money is paid, I will be let go. If it's not, I will be left here to die. Ever with the script, the script was brilliant. Yeah, Everybody felt like that, but uh, um, it was how to do it. I mean, how do you do? How do you do a film that's 88 minutes long, and we never ever leave the coffin? You have to find a way to shoot it. I mean, you have to find a way to shoot it that's not, you know, arthroscopic. I mean, you have to be able to actually have a universe inside that coffin and feel like we're, you know, we're, we're gradually moving from one moment to the next. This is a pretty dark film and very intense, but I wanted Ryan because he has that sense of timing that has so much to do with comedy. It's not necessarily that things are funny, that we have three or four moments in which we have to free some pressure but it's more about timing about when you say your line when you have no you have to wait a couple of seconds so it has the effect you're looking for so he's such so brilliant precisely because he's dom domini of comedy uh, had this you know impenetrable language barrier at first i mean his his english has improved exponentially since we started shooting but it was really tough at the beginning um and and you know there's a a certain amount of um solitude that you're feeling out there because we're shooting in spain and nobody speaks english and i'm there alone and i'm you know working alone i have no other co-stars and and uh, it all sort of worked in our favor for the film uh, i started reading the script about nine months ago and only nine months later we are premiering and we are premiering here so it's it's crazy yeah. I do feel good about the movie in the sense that I feel like it's honest. Everything in the movie is honest. There's no tricks, and and uh, you know, particularly um, you know, independent films and films like this. Nowadays in Hollywood, so the spectacle has kind of disappeared in favor of computer-generated imagery and those sorts of things. And I, 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 I love it when when movies fight for some spectacle again. You know, like Lawrence of Arabia, you would see all the horses, and you know that those are all they're not duplicated by a computer and um, and not manipulated in any way. So so to have a movie that's kind of honest and still maintains a certain degree of spectacle is pretty cool.